G'day and welcome to a very special episode of TazCast. In this episode, we find some snapper in schools and absolutely have a field day chasing these fellas. Down here in Tasmania, snapper are pretty prized possessions and as the warmer currents are coming down, we're starting to see some bigger numbers of them and more people targeting them. There have been big models in the north of the state that, you know, some iconic people, sheriff, have been chasing for years, but now seeing a lot more of these smaller species, it's very exciting for our fishery. So on the north coast we came across an incredible school of these guys and the arsenal of equipment that we had at hand were these Hook'em Flasher rigs. These guys did all of the damage running 300 gram sinkers as well. There was a fair bit of current and we did have to look for some bottom but what I think did the trick for us on this session was burly. The day beforehand, we actually had some bluefin tuna on board and we kept two of these frames after tagging 11 or so and we used them for burly to muster up the fish. The kind of bottom that we were looking for was a little bit of sea grass alongside some rubble. I think what these snapper do is they tend to hang out in that grassy area and feed on the pippies that are below. We looked anywhere from depths of 12 meters up to about 25 to 30. It is quite a diverse range of depth, but it seems to be where they are hanging out. One thing that I would recommend is that these hook'em rigs actually come with a bonus sinker clip. Unfortunately, we went through so many sinkers in this session because we didn't have the sinker clip on. What it does is essentially sways the sinker when you're fighting a fish and these guys go pretty hard. I put them like up alongside Strike Trumpeter in the small 50s and it stops the sinker from snapping off and breaking which will only shorten the length of your line between your Paternoster rigs as well. Any old sinkers will do. I prefer this shape and around the 300 gram but look, sometimes that weight might be overkill and these star size 150s are probably the way to go. There's not a whole lot of knowledge that I can give you apart from this bite being absolutely unreal and I don't know if it'll ever happen again, but I hope you enjoy this footage and I hope that this information that I've supplied you helps you go out there and search for them and get onto them yourself. Personally, I think Burley is key with these guys. If you have any tips for the other budding fishermen chasing snapper down here in Tasmania or anywhere across Australia, drop a comment down below. It might be different forms of fishing, like stray lining or bottom fishing, or I don't know, even catching them on soft plastics. But all of this knowledge is fantastic and let's get this community going with a discussion down below on the different methods that you use. So we can all go out there and have a fair bit of fun. I'm gonna let the footage unravel now. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if this has taught you a thing or two and let's get into it. Welcome to the north coast of Tasmania where we are burling up using some tuna that we caught yesterday. And we're on the snapper this morning. I've just done three drops and I was like, I should probably just start filming. Look at these beautiful pinkies. Incredible, incredible things. Ah, oh, I can't even get that out. We're just using uh, a couple of little flasher rigs. Caught some mackerel earlier. And uh, yeah, we're just dropping down straight onto them and getting them hooked on the circles. So I'll run you through me dropping it down and hopefully getting another one. Not the best conditions today. Just dropping straight down. They seem to be coming up and having a quick little peck and then you can set the hook on them a little bit more. Anything over there, Maxie? No. You'll find them. Hopefully we can find another, but those three just came on so quick. There's one. There we go, just like that. Woo, they fight so hard too. Love it. When they're biting too, they just come straight up and smack it. And then you're just in for a fight. It kind of resembles a striped trumpeter. But they just go hard the whole fight up. That's another nice size. How's that? Woo! 
boys are on the snaps. <laughs> I think uh, 35 or 30 is the limit. Beautiful, Beautiful. Tassie snapper, number four. Look at the colors on him too. Very healthy fish. That one's 40, 48 centimeters. Just incredible. Hello. How's that, Ryan? Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> can't, can't believe it. <laughs> Boys are on the snapper. This is an unbelievable chew right now. You can see the burly just down here from the tuna that we've been throwing out. Rocket. <laughs> this is such an unbelievable bite. How long do you have the line in for, Tim? Oh, about two seconds. Hopefully, there's a double. I'd love to get a double on Snapper. Oh, that was a big one. That's a nice big one. No Tasmanian Snapper. Do it. We won't talk about that. Shh. Oh, that is a bloody good looking fish. That is a very beautiful Tassie snapper. On the little flasher rig, going hard. That's a good looking fish there. Hey ya, well done. Very nice. He hit it as soon as he got to the bottom then. What are you doing, Max? What's happening? Got a nice one straight on the bottom. Yeah. This snapper bite is absolutely unreal. Oh, this one's a bit bigger than last. Might be the heaviest sinker too. Oh yeah. Oh. You big? Get him right. Oh, best thing to, yeah, perfect. Well done. Look at them just like full of color too, all the blue, just fluorescent. That's, that's, that's pretty big. Yeah, beaut. That's a nice snap, eh? That's a very good looking snap. Well done. Woo. Walking around. Oh, snap of the days. This is unreal. Gotta make the most of bites like this. It doesn't happen very often. Nice and pink. Wowza. Come here, buddy. Ooh, this one's feisty. Uh, lost my sinker too, eh? Must be something going on down there. It's just getting caught up or, yeah, I don't know. This one's to you, Merv. Thank you very much for the session. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. 
Time to have a cold one and celebrate. This one's on Merv that passed this morning. Cheers, Merv. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. Snapper on the stripey slayer. Let's go. Good one, too. Oh, come on. Whew. Whoa. Oh. Wow. grams trophy slayer on the snaps that's unreal was the best session on the snapper ever oh. what a beautiful spot for lunch boys unreal Who's coming? i'm coming right well that was a fantastic snapper mission we'll have a bit of a debrief later and go over that's the logistics of it and yeah in the end I'm gonna let you comment down below and guess how many snapper we ended up catching. See if we get any correct answers. For the time being, it's time to enjoy lunch and have a swim. We are back. And if you guessed correctly, the answer is 18 snapper. That is a pretty fantastic session, isn't it boys? Yeah. 100%. Well done, team effort. It took us a little bit to find them at first, and circle hooks as well did the damage. Absolutely stoked with that. That is the most snapper I've ever caught in Tasmania in a day. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one.